Alrighty guys, today is time to get my seat time drift car project. My E36 stripped out from the interior. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little cage in it so I can go ahead and uh, be safe and not die. Right now, the uh, for one, the bumper shot off whenever I unloaded it from the trailer. It hit one of the ramps and just literally shot off. It's only held in by zip ties, not a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and rip the seats, the rest of the back and the interior. Since some of that is still back there, like this door panel is on, or this back panel is on, and all this uh, sound deadening. I do have some dry ice right here. Picked up about, I think it's like 15 pounds. Hopefully that's enough for the areas that I need to do for the cage, which are back against the fender well. And right down here, I need to go ahead and take the carpet out as well. It's right down there and another mounting point right there. I need to take the dash out. Hoping I can leave a lot of the AC stuff and heat in because I'm hoping I can just retain that so I can have it while drifting. Jordan's giving me a hand today. We're gonna see how far we can get tonight and uh, take it to the cage guy here in a couple days. My $800 36 drift car to get came. Boom. Seat, well, seat. The seat rail is broke. The, e, the eBay seat rail broke. Yeah. Which you, is probably what started making the... The weird noise and movement. Is that not the one? Is that the one I it or no? Alright, check this out. So you see this mounting bracket on the other side? This one right here is completely snapped off. And it's still, still down there. So, I mean... That's what you get, I guess, for buying really cheap eBay brackets. I noticed it was moving a little bit on me last event. I didn't know why. I was like, oh, I thought one of these came loose. But that, that's that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's nasty. Maybe it's not going back in. We ended up cutting it in half. Kind of be easier to pull out with the pedals and the floor mounted gas pedal and stuff like that. But I should get this side out. Right on the... Day two prepping the E36. Last night I got the dash carpet seats out. I just went ahead and removed some of the sound deadening material. I didn't get it all out. Didn't even clean it out yet, but just some of the points that I needed to get out. It's kind of the bare minimum. Charlie, the cage guy, is going to actually kind of help finish me up with the sound deadening. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and back it out. I need to actually put another tire on it because one's flat. And we're going to go ahead and load it on the trailer, head to the cage guy's place, and I'm going to pick up my 240. I'm dropping this one off to get caged. This garage is absolutely a mess. All the tools and stuff from the last event. Got ATF. Got the tranny and all the parts. 350Z, junk exhaust. All right, 2JZ, all right, that's not a mess. That's perfection. Got all this garbage over here. Man, I, I need to clean this. I need to clean this place up a little bit. It's only six o'clock at night and it's already dark. I hate that. I don't know, it just kind of puts a damper on things. You know, it's not as it's cold, it's dark. Can't see things. So I dropped the E36 off a couple days ago. Picked up the 240 and the cage is completely done in this thing. You can see we went with the dimple die gussets and the full eight point cage. Came out very nice. Ended up going with the door bars as far as cutting out the doors. They're a little bit bent out. So they kind of sit flush with like the rocker panel and stuff like that down there. In case like somebody tries to come into my door, this will, uh, it'll bend the door in just a little bit but it'll hit the bars so we should be good on that. Overall the cage came out very, very nice. I'm very happy with it. He really tucked it up against the uh, roof and all the pillars and stuff like that. Super pumped how it came out. He even filled in like the little spot that we uh, accidentally punched through in the back. And a couple of little things as far as like the holes in the firewall and stuff like that. So now my next step on this car is to go ahead and get it back into the garage and start tearing into it. Keep cleaning up the engine bay and get it ready for everything that it needs to go in. I've been getting some parts in left and right. This build is moving along nicely. So that's going to do it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with all the builds we got going on on the channel. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.